Good morning, grade 5 girls. Today it's Sunday, 5th April, and we will start with a new lesson. How does matter change? Before I start the lesson, I wanted to ask you, maybe from grade 4, you have been, you have been studying about physical change and chemical change. You know something about it think about it physical and even i told something about physical properties in my last lesson matter has physical properties that can be observed without changing the type of matter i told you to hold a pen or hold any object try to explain me the physical property of it so you would say the color the shape the texture, the taste, all these are physical properties. Without changing the type of the matter. You don't change the type of the matter. Physical changes are changes to matter that do not affect the type of matter. Like slicing an apple pie. Example of physical change. Slicing, cutting tearing a paper, there are a number of examples, simple examples, which are under physical change. Meanwhile, please take a sticky note, write by your own physical changes, and give me some examples, and write chemical changes, and their examples too. So, can you see these three pictures? Burning, frying an egg, bacteria decomposing it. These all are chemical changes. After you burn the wood, it becomes ashes and those ashes cannot turn to the wood. Egg, once you have made the egg, you cannot bring it back to that shell. Similarly, decomposition. Chemical changes result in a change in the identity of matter. It results in a change the matter, the identity of the matter changes. It does not remain the same. Like example girls, you know iron? Uh, in, the, in the school, I took you all to lab and I showed you an example of iron and mud and how I was separating iron because it's just a mixing. Because, like example, I take one spoon of sulfur, an element, powder, and I take one spoon of iron. They don't, they don't mix. I mean, they don't, uh, what do I say? They both are solid powder. Okay? I mix them. And then I take a bar magnet. I try to remove all the iron from it, from the bar magnet. And now you have separated the sulfur. This is something physically you are doing. But chemical change is when I burn this iron and sulfur to give it a new substance. The reaction is the process in which new substances are formed. This is very important because new substances are formed during a chemical change. Baking a pie, baking a cake, burning something, frying something, this all come under chemical changes. Baking a pie in an oven is an example of a chemical change. Most matter expands when temperature goes up. You know that. Like example, you have a piece of galaxy chocolate in your hand. Because of your hand temperature warms the chocolate. But what happens? The matter, the chocolate expands. Okay? And contracts when the temperature goes down. And again, I keep it into the freezer. What happened in the freezer? It will contract. This is the best example. I know you feel like eating chocolate now. <laughs> Some matter expands and contracts more than others. Water expands when it freezes. I know when you keep a water bottle inside the freezer, what happens? After some time, it freezes. If you keep the bottle for one more day, for the next day, you see the bottle has become fat. It expands when it freezes, making ice less dense than liquid water. Because ice is less dense than liquid water. Coming to your engage your brain girls. A piece of iron.